First things first, I have to kind of explain to you that I have slightly lied to you in the title to this video. I'll be upfront, because this isn't really a game. Today's piece of software is an educational app called Human Anatomy VR. This is the only one of its kind on PSVR 2, and originally I thought, why would I want to cover this on the channel? But there are two reasons. One of them is that I'm quite busy right now and will be busy next week. So it'd be good to have a video covering something that isn't that extensive in terms of gameplay and in terms of environments or visuals that I can cover pretty quickly for one of the videos over the next couple of days. The second reason is because I've actually seen quite a few people talking about this software or this game, if we want to be using that terminology, but unsure whether or not they want to buy it and how high quality it is. Because Human Anatomy VR is exactly what it says on the tin. It allows you to essentially look through different layers of the human body in excruciatingly high detail in VR, which is something that you just can't get out of a flat screen. But it's also quite expensive. For the price of around £30, you can go and buy The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, which is a massively long VR game that will give you loads of content. However, that's just not the type of thing that Human Anatomy VR is. It even tells you when you load it up. It's an app. It's not a game. In a few steps, right. we'll introduce you to the basic principles of our application. Mm -hmm. I myself almost failed science back when I had it in my GCSEs years ago, but I could see this being very, very useful for any sort of medical student or anyone studying biology. If you've been looking into this one and not sure whether you want to pick it up, it's not going to be incredibly extensive in terms of, you know, amazing gameplay or anything like that. It's got simple controls of forward and backwards, turning, taking out different parts of the body, expanding them. Sternum to its place. <laughs> That's <laughs> weird. Triggering different layers of the body, different animations to show you how it works. Can I have his head explode? That is freaky. And I'll admit a very cool ant mode where it puts you down to an ant scale and lets you explore around any of you know the skeletons or bodies available in the game. Or app, I should say. I'm so used to saying game, I've got myself saying it again. This is so freaky. Five structures. But there are two main questions that anyone who's looking at this probably wants answered, so let me go over them right now. The first one is, is it accurate? And you're gonna have to tell me that by what you're seeing on screen. I can't show you everything the game has to offer because I'll get demonetized. I can't show you that. But from what you can see on screen, you can probably tell whether this is accurate or not, and whether or not it'd be helpful for you if you wanna buy it. Secondly is, is it high quality? Both as a game and as a VR experience. I will say yes to both of those. I was very scared that this game was going to be low resolution, very blurry, with no interaction whatsoever, and I'm happy to be wrong. This is one of the crispest looking PSVR 2 games on the headset, probably because it's not the most technically challenging. So it looks great, there's so much detail, and I found myself genuinely going wow at the level of fidelity on some of these models. That is... soulless. It also takes place in a nice little office that you can have a look out the windows of. That's just a bonus. It probably won't help you in terms of memorizing things for medical school. Oh, it tells me the real life time. That's neat. I like that. I also like the view out here. Somebody tell me where this is. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say about Human Anatomy VR. It's exactly what it says it does. And fortunately, it does what it says on the tin very, very well. I myself might not have, you know, any great use for it in terms of education, but there are definitely people out there who do. And if you've been looking at it and considering whether or not it could help you in terms of studying stuff, then I would say yeah, it probably will. It's very extensive, excruciatingly detailed, and very high quality as a VR product, so I'd recommend it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. We'll be back with some longer videos soon, and I hope to see you there in the next one.